This is how to make an Anna Barbie cake from the movie Frozen. So I made an Anna and Elsa Barbie cake for my daughter's four-year-old birthday, and she loved them. I got a lot of compliments on them, and so I wanted to share here how I made them. For this video, it's the Anna cake, although I do start off using a little bit of footage from Elsa because I lost the footage. So you one and a half times the recipe that I'll link to, called the best vanilla cake recipe. And for Elsa, you need two 10 9 inch rounds, but for Anna, you need only one because she's a shorter Barbie. So you do a, a 9 inch round vanilla cake on the bottom and you pipe that and put some frosting down. And then you'll add the Barbie skirt. It's baked in a Barbie mold. And then you stick Anna in. Here you see Elsa, but really it's Anna, and you stick her in with the wrapped saran wrap around her legs. Then you do a crumb coat, and I explain on the blog post how to do that, but there's multiple ways to make a crumb coat. I like to just put the icing in a piping bag and warm it in the microwave so that it's nice and soft, and you don't have to do more than one batch of icing. And once you get the crumb coat on, you want to set her somewhere cool to set. I have an outdoor fridge that we put her in. And then once she's set, I colored the frosting for her skirt with gel food coloring. And I matched it by printing out some pictures of her outfit. And then I just matched it the best I could. And then using an icing spatula, I worked to make ruffles or ripples in her dress so that you saw movement and flowiness. I did not ice her back because I was making a cape. And I would highly recommend choosing a Barbie that has painted on clothing on the top because you can match the icing to it and add icing on top of it and it looks seem more seamless and better in my opinion. So then I mixed a bunch of different colors together to get this mauve color of her cape. I apologize, I don't know how to tell you how to do it because I had to mix multiple colors. And then I made her cape using an icing spatula, just tried to create movement in the lines and cleaned up the shoulders. I added a little bit of this mauve colored icing on her bodice in the front, again to kind of add a seamless look and to make it look like she was completely frosted from bottom to top. And then after I smoothed out the cape and felt happy with that, I went along the bottom and made some detailing. She has these little buds, flower buds in mauve, and then some teal detailing along the base of her skirt. And you don't have to have a piping tip if you don't want to. I use piping bags and then I just cut as small or as large of a tip as I need using the piping bag when I'm just doing this kind of straightforward piping. And that's what I did for the teal detailing. And at times you want to stop and clean up the cake board with a spatula or um, towel, paper towel, and just pay attention to the details because it makes a big difference. So speaking of details, uh, you might want to have a Q-tip or toothpicks. Here I'm using like this little sucker stick that, I mean it's clean, but it's just like some random thing I had in my baking supplies to kind of clean her up. And you, the more detailed you can get, the better and the more realistic it looks. I also used black writing gel, it's like a cake gel, and I used that to add detailing to her cape and her neckline and her bodice, and it made a huge difference. 
So after she sat in the fridge for a little bit and that mauve and the blue were nice and hard, I went along with this writing gel and added detailing. And that just made the cake come to life. And that's it. So to get the supply list, I linked to all the supplies I used. And to get the recipes for the cake and the icing, you can just go to my blog and search on a Barbie cake. Thanks. <laughs>